Hi guys, Steve Good with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Please visit my Scroll Saw blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. I want to make a little video tonight talking about something we've talked about a few times in the past, and that's creating the uh, uh, circular uh, Christmas ornaments that have the names in them. I still get emails almost every week about those ornaments. Uh, people like them, they're easy to make, and they want to be able to design their own. Um, in the last set of videos we did on this, we talked about uh, using different programs to create those ornaments from uh, Microsoft Word to uh, Corel Draw, different paint programs, and Photoshop. And uh, in the last video, I asked uh, if anybody had a better way of doing that in Photoshop than what I had done. And I got an email from Tim the other day, and he came up with a much better solution for doing it in uh, Adobe Photoshop. So if you have access to this program, I'm going to take you through just a quick tutorial here on how to create those ornaments. Uh, and I may have to follow his written instructions here, so if I get a little uh, tongue-tied, you'll know what's going on. But uh, basically, load up Photoshop. And we're going to create a new document. In this case, we'll create it approximately the size of the ornament we want to make. And I'm going to start out with a 500 by 500 document with a background of white. And uh, go ahead and get that document created on the screen. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go down here and create a new layer and select the Pass tab. And I'm going to use the uh, uh, Ellipse tool to create a couple of ellipses on the screen. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key so we get a perfect circle. So I'm going to create the outer one. Now I'm going to go back and create a little smaller one for the inner part of the circle. Uh, next step, I'm going to select the uh, Select Pass tool and move this center path roughly in the center of the other one. And now with this uh, still selected, let's go ahead and select both of these uh, by lassoing both of them. And we can go up here to our Options bar and we can uh, center these up horizontally and vertically. So align vertical centers. And then we also want to do align uh, horizontal centers, these two buttons right here. And that will center up the inner circle inside of the outer circle. Okay, now with both of these paths still selected, uh, you can see they both have the uh, uh, little handles on them, so they're still selected. We're going to go back down here to our pass palette. And this button right here will allow us to fill in... Uh, this circle. Wait a minute. We got to do some. We got to do another step first. I forgot this step. Uh, with both of these selected up here on your options bar and the select pass tool selected, you want to go to this icon right here. Exclude overlapping shape area, and then click combine. Now, once we do that, now we can come down to the pass palette and click this fill the uh, circle with the. Uh, the uh, foreground color. So you want to set up this foreground color to the color you want your pattern to be beforehand. Then click this and that will go ahead and fill in these two paths uh, with the color in the foreground. Now we can go ahead and take this path that we've created and drag it down here to the trash can because we don't need it anymore. Okay, so now we have this circle on the screen and the next step we want to do is fill it uh, with text. So the next thing is to select your text tool and in this case we want the horizontal type tool and select a font and a size that uh, you want to use. In this case, I've uh, selected this Jagger font, and uh, the, the uh, font size is uh, 72 point. And I want to go ahead and type my name on the screen. And I'm going to take my selection tool and move that roughly to the center of the circle. And then back, you have to make sure you have the horizontal text tool selected. With that selected, you can go up to the Create Warped text icon up here in the options bar. Click that. That will bring up your uh, work text dialog. In the style, select bulge. And you can play around with the uh, blend a little bit, but I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Give it just a little bit more. Okay, once we get that done, you can click OK. And uh, now you want to make sure this is roughly centered. And then what you can do is go to your free form uh, transform your free transform tool which is underneath your edit menu or control T as a shortcut and that will bring up your free form uh, tool or uh, selection here and now what you can do is just form this text into the size you need now you may have to zoom in zoom it out a little bit to be able to get a hold of this tool like you want but go ahead and just uh, move this text around transform it until it fits inside the circle like you want and again, you can do the uh, top and the bottom of the transform. And once you get it uh, close to where you want it to be, 
then just go ahead and hit the enter key and to complete the transform and uh, the last step would be to go up here to your layers menu item and uh, flatten the image and there is your Christmas ornament uh, ready to cut out. Now one of the things Tim suggested which is a great idea is once you get your standard size circle created just uh, save that and then all you have to do from that point is come back and add you know the different text to it so you won't have to go back and recreate the uh, outside of the ornament every time just uh, simply add text to a already created circle. Now you can go ahead and add your little hanger here at the top, print it out and uh, um, you can make as many of these you want. Uh, again, you can use any style uh, of font that you want to use inside these uh, little ornaments. Uh, using uppercase seems to work the best, though. So, okay, there you go. There's another way of creating those little Christmas ornaments. Again, I still get emails on these things all the time. And I think the reason why is because they're personalized gifts and they're very easy to cut. They don't take much material. And the patterns can be created in so many different programs that it gives everybody a chance to... Uh, to make these patterns. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll go ahead and put Tim's written instructions up uh, on the website too so you can follow along with those uh, and uh, hopefully with those ins written instructions in this video you'll be able to create these ornaments. Okay, everybody have a good night and we'll see you in the next video.